<laughs> this is gonna be so weird. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I was thinking back at like, wow, I've been on YouTube, what, like four years or so? And I was just like, like I've come a long way, you know? So I thought it would be fun if I were to kind of watch portions of like my older videos, like the cringeworthy ones, and maybe share some context with you guys, like behind the scenes stuff, but at the same time, like just kind of react to it. Cause I do feel like I've grown as a person just in general, like this cookie person that you now very well know to be Jotty G is not the person that uploaded her very first video. So let's dive on in. I feel so weird about this, but we're gonna go ahead and do it because it's so funny. Okay, 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 okay. Hold my name is Johnny. I'm 30 years old. I live in uh, Jersey, Tri-State, and um, I'm married. I have a kid, a little girl. She's going to be three. Uh, <laughs> I was so nervous <laughs> talking to a camera again for the first time in a really long time. Again, because I had like a YouTube channel well before beauty was the thing. A few years later, I end up opening a channel up all over again, starting brand new, super fresh. I was so nervous. First of all, you guys don't know this, but I was recording on the original iPad mini, which launched, I think in 2008 or 2009. Clearly the quality is a like crap. That's one. And two, just notice how nervous I am that I'm like, like I had dry mouth. situation I end up um, getting pregnant and busy and then I bought a house and I had to move and it was <laughs> okay I was filming in the guest room, which eventually turned into Ty's room. But here's the thing, the bed behind us had a big, big pile of clothes, laundry that had been there like several days. And I made sure, I, I just, I was like, okay, if I don't film today, I'll never do it and I'll never film my very first video. So I wound up <laughs> sitting, kind of measuring what I needed to cover and then I made a pile like a mountain. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop here because it's just this is actually like pretty pretty lame. I'm surprised I got 593 views just in general. Of course, this is four years in, which is not good. As you guys can see, very very different. Like my self esteem was very low. It's true what they say: when you become a parent, you are no longer yourself. Like your identity, you kind of start to lose it because when you take them to school, they don't call you by your name. You're like Ty's mom, mom. Ty's mom. So I was already being called Ty's mom and mom like at all times and no one ever really bothered to know my name. So my self-esteem was going down a little bit. Also, I was very, very nervous. Also, it is very hard to go online and put yourself out there for the entire world to see and judge you. It was just a lot, but I look so innocent, right? This actually was before my um, sleeve surgery for the weight loss. It's weird to see the quality is not there. You know, I look like a lot brighter in certain areas than others. I sound so innocent. Like I was, the, the best way to say it, it was like super vulnerable at that time. I feel so little and young and that was only four years ago. That was at 30 years old. I feel like I look like I was like 12. <laughs> not the look, just the sound and how vulnerable I sound. Okay, let's go to another one. <laughs> Girl, you are so pregnant right now. You cannot fall. Whew. Okay, let me show you the baby bump for a second. Hold on. I haven't been vlogging, but I have been getting requests for a baby bump update. So I'll give it to you guys. Girl, my chichitos are coming out, but I'm cool with it. It's fine. Check this out. We're getting there. So that's what we're looking like right now. Whew. Okay. I've had people asking, can we see an update? I'm sorry. I will be going back to vlogging. It's just a thing, but still... I almost fell back on my chair. This was so funny. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny, but it's funny. Okay. <laughs> Just, I'm sorry. Okay. Keeping it real, I don't suggest you guys go back and watch this entire video because it's slightly depressing, I would say. But guys, my hair 
was so dirty. How dare I even think of filming? Well, I mean, I only got 118 views. I mean, it makes sense because OMG, my hair. I looked tired, bloated, stressed out, depressed, and my hair was dirty. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that seat, see, so it's justified. I've told you guys that Ty, ever since she was born, had chronic asthma. As a matter of fact, um, three weeks, three and a half weeks into being born, I think she was like a month old or so. Actually, Christmas day, we ended up in the ER and they had to do a series of treatments because they could not control her breathing. She like was this close to stop like breathing. So, you know, it was, it, we, we were going through a lot the first four years of her life just not sleeping. It was terrible. So this is what I would normally look like until eventually she was old enough to where we can get her asthma under control. But girl, I was tired. Let's fast forward because I look a hot ass mess. By the way, that, that was not a backdrop. That was like the wall from the guest room. Oh, that's blurry. That Jouet palette was everything. It was like kind of pricey and I loved it because it was like one of the first very neutral palettes that I loved. That primer was everything, by the way. The Nivea, man. It's like an aftershave, but works amazingly. Naked Tutorials taught me that. Okay, let's fast forward. I look, I, ooh, girl. I swore I was showing you the entire palette. Like, honestly, you can't really see, my, first of all, it's blurry. The colors are not, like, on point. And then on, that, on top of that, like, you can see this much of the palette. You hear my baby's coughing? Nowadays, I would actually like cut that out, but her coughing, it was just so much congestion. Okay, we're gonna move on. That's funny in a sad way. Oh my God. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on. So one of the things about doing YouTube and like being a beauty channel or like a review channel, cause I do a little bit of everything. I do unboxings, beauty reviews, tutorials. So it's like overall beauty, everything. Um, is that when you're first starting, it is hard to get brands to send you anything. It is hard to get noticed. And so you kind of um, accept any offer you are given. In this case, I was offered, um, underwear <laughs> and I was like sure why not and no I did not try it on camera this was after my weight loss surgery so you'll definitely notice a difference like that I'm showing a little more up here and my face I felt a little more comfortable with myself and my self-esteem because I did lose like a lot a lot of weight this is about a year later because in 2016 even though I launched my first video I wasn't consistently uploading I didn't end up consistently uploading till about late 2017 at that point I was like girl take it seriously and do something with it um, and th that's why we are where we are now um, pros and cons I definitely have a major upgrade on makeup that I can tell and my hair is actually clean on this one <laughs> I do seem more comfortable in front of the camera, which is awesome. Quality is still crap. And I'll tell you, I was no longer filming on the iPad. I ended up buying like a little like flip over vlogging camera that was crap. I think I paid like 110 bucks for it or something like that. So it totally was not, it was like a, was it a Sony something, a Nikon something? It was totally not worth it. It was like a really cheapy, cheapy one. And it's, the lighting sucked because I literally had like one ring light and then a track light in the ceiling. There were like four, bulbs in the track light and then there were two of them that would sporadically like turn on and off while I was filming so the lighting was always inconsistent but that didn't help and do you see like you can't like you can kind of see I have floral on my shirt but when it comes to the eyes like is that silver is that blue like what was going on there from afar I look nice but if you were to ask me like girl what like what colors were you using what like, I wouldn't even be able to tell you that's wow you know what's funny it's like in my mind, it was so awesome because I put music in the background, but now that I'm hearing it, I'm like, my audio, like of what I'm saying, is like almost at war with the music. Like the overlay is just, it's it's at a battle. So I can definitely hear the music, but like I'm hearing the music and I'm trying to focus on what in the world I'm saying in the video. So it's one of those things like the, the music should have definitely been a lot lower. It definitely should not have been the type of tempo that it was. It should have been something slower, nothing like super rocky the way it is. 
after I released the video, after I filmed it, I felt some type of way like, oh my God, like I literally pulled up underwear that I'm supposed to be wearing later on in front of a camera. And it was just a thing for me. Okay, that's weird enough. Let's move on to another one. Maybe, maybe one or two more. Here is one that I honestly wish I could go back and just completely change the whole aesthetic of it. I love the background. I love the fact, because everything was so simple. I love that my shirt was black. I love that my hair was pulled back because that eye look, I literally remember it like I did it last week. And it was a beautiful, it was so stunning. It was like turquoise, teals, and purple. It was just beautiful the only problem was that i was still using that ugly little camera and you see how it washed me out it made me look more gray like what's up like i'm a tan latina hello you know like like where's my jlo glow and i was not having any of that it just like no matter what i did i was washed out i kind of looked gray and white at the same time it was just weird and i wish this video itself did not look like this because this look was amazing and i think that the I guess the information that I provided in it was all valid because it was just my favorites. Like I wish I could like redo this and put it up in 2017 with everything that I have going on now because um, it would have been fire. Washing it off and then you were kind of like wasting it, you know? And then... Um... What's funny is that I remember listening to this audio and thinking it was amazing. Like great quality and i remember looking at the video itself and saying wow like this is really good quality like it's so much better the audio is so much better no it wasn't <laughs> what primer is that oh it's the laura mercier the problem is that you can't really see it at all because of the fact that the lighting sucks so laura mercier What is that? Like, it worked so well. And Can't I see it. Urban, like, I felt the needs amazing. Oh, that's the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin. But like the one that came in the little squeezy tube, the pumpy thing, that one was so good. That foundation was everything. Okay, let's, um, let's, let's find one more. If there's anything that's definitely a huge issue just in general with my channel, and I think that's with many, many people, the lighting is everything. And I was in a situation where my camera was not the best. Like every time I tried to tweak one thing, I ended up being in a whole nother situation. And hence, remember I said, where's like my Latinaness? Where's my tan? Where's my glow, right? In this video, my camera was like, girl, you you want to look tan? I'll make you look orange, okay? That's what I'm happened. I'm going to show you the two sneak peeks that have been released for May 2018 box box. So as I showed you guys in my previous video, I definitely look glowy. The eye look is howy. It is really really cute. Um but the problem here is, guys, like I was orange. And to say orange was not a problem, okay? Because there were certain videos that I would look blue. There were other videos where I would look yellow and then there were other videos where I was just straight up green. And then there were videos where I would look amazing at the beginning and then the colors would kind of shift on me and it was just this whole thing. I dealt with a lot of like visual issues in terms of like my camera picking up colors properly. It was a pain in the butt. I was really proud of myself because everything that comes with like editing, everything that's going on here, it's all been trial and error and figuring it out and doing some research and just learning on my own. The whole overlay of photos, the transitions, editing, B-roll, all that extra stuff. I've learned this on my own and you know, I'm really proud of myself. That's that's just, it feels good. That's That's what it is. I couldn't get my lighting right, but I figured out how to put a picture on a video so now that i showed you guys like some of the pretty funny or bad ones like you guys have seen my reaction let's fast forward to like literally last week first of all my intro i went through i don't know how many intros trying to figure out which one i would be the happy with the most like something that would be more timeless quick straight to the point and my husband came up with this logo for me, which I'm really grateful for. And I'm married to this logo the way I am married to that man. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do the Itzy Glam Bag unboxing. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. We have come a long way. I am so, okay, first of all, look at that tan skin. You can see my eyeliner beautifully. That lip color, you can see 
the color of my shirt. It's not fuzzy, it's nice and clear. That's actually the highest quality I am able to provide to you guys right now because I render at 4K, so yes. You can even see the detail in the Ipsy bag. Like, when I see these things, I just embrace it and I love going back and just editing and watching because back in the day, I couldn't do all of this. I'd be like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? What product is that? I don't know, I'm really proud of that. I am very happy that I've come a long way in the sense of like, I'm not like so self-conscious of myself. You know, I have my down days. I think everyone does have that, but like I, like to come on YouTube and when I'm gonna film, I like to have a good time and I don't care about anything. We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna have a great time. It's really, really awesome to kind of see the evolution of my channel. It is different. It's weird, but in a good way. And I guess if you take anything out of this video and this like run through of where I was when I started to where I am now is that we all have to start somewhere and we're not just gonna start being completely self-confident. We have to work our way there. We may have the confidence and not the lighting. We might have the confidence and just not the visuals or the audio. You know, in order to kind of feel like you have a full package and be happy with yourself, because you can't please everyone, so it's not about making everyone else happy, it's about you being happy with the content that you're producing, you're putting out there, and being proud of what you have created. And it takes a while to get there, but once you finally get there, it's like really, really fulfilling. For those of you who are looking to start a channel, have already started a channel, because there's so many of you guys who have already started channels, and I'm really, really proud of you for putting yourself out there. Yes, it is hard to do. Not only is it like you putting yourself out there, but it's a lot of work. But as long as you remain consistent and continue to enjoy what you're creating, it's totally worth it. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, guys. There's nothing else I can say other than keep at it, don't give up. Eventually, it becomes way more fun than at first with like all those struggles and stuff. You'll forget about the struggles and just totally have fun with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I totally did. My cheeks are hurting because I laughed so many times and actually laughed really, really hard today. Thank you for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. Please don't forget to hit the like button for me and check out the videos that are coming here on screen. We've got some vlogs, tutorials, how to's, reviews, unboxings, and all that stuff. I'm sure you're gonna absolutely love and I'll see you guys over there. Bye guys.